Hi guys, I'm just basically going to talk a lot of ramble. Um, just basically about how I'm feeling today. I am not 100% today. I just feel really tired and drained again. Um, I've been reading a lot about that heart banner um, thing, symptoms, what I had the other night when I had a slight panic attack on top. Well, it's really quite interesting. I've read about it on Google, but it can be um, quite serious as well. So that's why I have to take things a bit slowly. And it was a warning. Um, a reason why I've got a bandage, because I didn't want to, well, didn't want to show you, but I'm showing you, is because my eczema's really bad. And that is so... Very so. I've just had a shower. I don't know if it's going septic or infected. So I'm going to the doctors tomorrow to get it checked out. It's not painful. It's just quite sore and irritating at the moment. So they might put a dressing on it for me tomorrow to cover it. I'm putting some cream on it in now. <laughs> this cream I'm using. That's it, this is the help. That'll help it. Just to cover the wound, because I don't want to get any more infection on it, if it is infected. Um, so basically I'm just going to talk about how I'm feeling like today, and uh, my support workers rang me today, because um, I texted her yesterday, because basically wanted to have a chat with her about tomorrow with the council with that deadline to the council and we still haven't heard anything from ESA so but they are working on our claim so if I hear from the council or at any point this week or they knock on my door I will explain to them I have to I have to tell them I'm waiting for the for the letter which we are as because they said they still haven't closed Andrew's claim down, so this isn't our fault. This is the job centre's fault. The job centre should have closed the down for him. You know what I mean, guys? So we are stuck. We are stuck again in the middle. Um yeah, it's the first of July today and this will be gonna be my update for this month I've got my son's birthday party to do to organise um, then I've, next week the weekend I'm going to the grave to put some flowers on for John on the 6th beyond the Saturday we'll be going down no doubt and I'll probably have a walk about in Cockington area with my dad because I haven't been around Cockington for ages I might actually show you where I used to live, so I could try and film that. Um, many years ago, I lived at Auckland Avenue near Cockington, and it was the second house me and John moved to, and we liked it. We got on all right. We were planning on moving before he passed away, and he passed away. Because we were planning on moving towards near nearer the town because we had Marcus. And we were going to move into the town where it was nearer for us both. Or around the Dean's area we were planning on moving. Which we were thinking about that in the first place. Because we liked the Dean's area because of when Marcus grew up. And unfortunately that didn't work out because so, he passed away. And so... I fell in love with a certain person back then, <laughs> one of my exes, which I'm not going to go into because I do, did not like him. And um, he basically, we moved from Auckland Avenue to Craig Street, the other end of Craig Street. Then from Craig Street, we moved to Borough Road, 
which I didn't like the place because I got absolutely picked on and God knows what, I got hassled, you name it, everything. It was damp, it was two houses, the house was damp, guys. I mean, there was a lot of stuff I had to chuck out. There was a lot. I mean, I had a leather jacket I had to chuck out because of the mould, it went well, black mould, which I was devastated by. And it was like the wall was black mould. Literally black mould and it was like little tiny spots and it was basically a horrible, horrible house and a horrible landlord. I did not like him at one bit because I told him about the repairs in the house. No, do they listen? No, they don't. I mean, guys, you know yourself with these private rent lords, landlords. Sometimes they don't always do the repairs for you till you ask them. When you ask them and they don't do them and you can be waiting for months, months, months. I mean, it's like the damp in here. And I know I've got a pretty good landlord and I'm just waiting on to hear about it because I want to get the room organised for the people who's actually going to fix the damp. And it means I'll have to take the TV out I'll have to take the hi-fi out and the sofa out and my other bits and bobs out till the, uh, and all the wires because um, really that there's only two sockets in the cupboard there's four sockets on where the couch is so really you need more sockets in that room as well because you need about six sockets and we haven't got six sockets because they're all on extensions and it's a bit awkward as it's, and it's dangerous having an extension but what can you do in a small room? You, you need extensions, guys. You know that. So, basically all I'm saying about this month, um, I don't know what I'll be actually doing this month but I'm trying to get a day out for me and Andrew organised. Um... Probably, probably about the end of the month, we'll probably be going out. Um, I'll see if my dad could take me, us to Whitby again, or Scarborough, one of the two. I wouldn't mind going to Scarborough because I haven't been to Scarborough for a while. And I quite like Scarborough. I like York. York is tiring, but I quite like York and Scarborough. But tomorrow, I'm going to get this checked out, guys, because I'm still... Um, finding it difficult to breathe sometimes and I'm wheezing a little bit when I'm doing that and so if it's a heart banner or whatever they call it um, I have to keep myself cool and calm and try and concentrate on me for a change and look after me and I don't know how they would they can treat it Um. I've just been reading the symptoms on on it on Google and some of it was quite really interesting because I read a lot of stuff on Google and it's just information what, what you want to find out, guys. Do you know what I mean? I know one of them a bit you stop smoking. I know one of them will say that. I know the doctors will say that. We we'll have to stop smoking. Uh, no, I won't stop smoking. I say this is all I keep doing. It keeps me going. And because they won't give me stress pills. I've asked for stress pills and they don't give you any. Do you know what I mean, guys? I mean, I've been on... I think I've been on a month now on my depression tablets. I've had my moments of I've been up and down, up and down. But I haven't had bad thoughts, which is a good sign. But last month I've had two slight panic attacks. And that is a scary thing. How many more am I going to have? I haven't moved that much. I haven't. I said... It's just a bit tight on that. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I've been on for about a month now, and I'm going to stick to my depression tablets because I do feel slightly better, and I still feel a bit calmer, but also, with the smoking ways, I can't quit smoking because it helps me to relax and chill, and the doctors will, won't give me any stress tablets because I've asked, and they don't, they, they don't do it. They just give you depression tablets, which I'm on, and I don't know why they don't give you the stress tablets. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm going to have to take this bandage off. It's too tight on me. Oh, sorry, guys, you got to see my scar. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. Oh. Seeing how tight it's been on that. Oh, guys, 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 that hurt. Hurty, hurty, hurt. I've got a little bandage somewhere. Oh, I did have one somewhere. Oh. Best to get air to it. As I say, isn't it? I mean, it's like it's on that one as well. That one's healing up though. Oh, it's peeled a bit of the skin off. Ow. Right, so yeah, um, because they don't give you stress pills, I don't know what really what they can do and what they can help you with. Um, I did have um, one of them disc things to help me to sleep type of thing. That didn't really work, and <laughs> I just basically listened to my music on the laptop to help me try and relax more. So basically, that's what I do. I need time out from the internet, everything. So I chill, and I am hoping to get more better and more stronger this time. But like I said, guys, I can't believe next month is going to be the anniversary of my dog for a year and. Boy, have I been through it this year, this year and last year, and it's just it's hard. It's too much to take in at times, and you think bloody hell, have I just been through that? And you think I've come over that, and it's you don't know, don't know how or why things happen, and they just do, and it's. It just amazes me how much I do cope and I I just honestly don't sometimes I can think to myself, how the hell do I cope? And I just do. And I have my bad days like everybody else does. And I know I've took it out on a lot of people with what I've been through and I don't mean to and this is this is me. This is me talking and I'm sorry if I've hurt people along the way, but I don't mean to say the things I mean. And I just want, well, you can't have the people back who, who have gone. And it happens for a reason. And this is how I look at it. Death happens for a reason. Death helps you realise to move on. And you start a new life. Even though without that person, it's still hard. I mean, I know this myself, guys. I do know this myself. I have been through it twice. And I'm still going through it. And it's not easy. It's not easy one bit. You have your good days. You have your bad days. But you always have the memories in your head. No matter where you go, you have the memories in the head. No matter. Because someone told me that... And she was a very good friend of mine. Sorry, guys, I'm just... Picking a scab when I shouldn't. <laughs> it's one of my worst habits. 
and now I've made it bleed. Never mind. I said I've got it. I've been wanting to get rid of that. <laughs> I hate it when you get a little bit of loose skin on the scab. Right, guys. I'm going to leave yous and leave yous. Mm. And I was a bit bored, so I thought just to ramble on with a little video. <laughs> As you do. Right, guys. I love you loads. Be cool. Be happy. Stay tuned. Else for or two. I'm out of the all. Bye, guys.